Hey guys, uh, today uh, is, believe it's week four, and they finally opened up the Broadway Pier to explore. No, thing is, it's just a walkway that goes right by the pavilion, and you can walk all the way to the end of the pier and enjoy like the sunset or something, and that's exactly what I'm doing. But I decided to tape the harbor tour boats um, leaving. And that is the spirit of San Diego. Uh, I had a video that was up there. I do plan to redo that just because um, maybe I can do better with this new mic. So yeah, I'm gonna redo that video. Like I already have all the clips still. I'm just gonna create a new edit for it. And then I also have some bonus material coming in the future as well. I decided to put some bonus material out from like all the other videos that I have done. So that is something that I decided to do as well. So we're out here, almost in the same location as last time, but I don't know if you guys heard this, but in June, 2018, they announced that the carnival was returning to San Diego and they brought the Carnival Miracle here in 2019. And I finally got to see it in January 2020. And this is pretty much one of the last times I actually had to see that because uh, when it came back again on February 1st, it would be um, going to the Panama Canal. And I did speed this up. The original video is like about six-ish or so minutes. So instead of see seeing it for that long, you're seeing this in like three-ish or so minutes. Coming up next will be the Admiral Hornblower. And Admiral actually does the harbor tours when Adventure Hornblower is doing whale watching. I also have some videos from whale watching. And uh, once again, I'm probably going to be redoing that video as well. That is if you're okay with me. Like, I think I can do better for that one too. I also have a bunch of bonus footage. <laughs> it's going to be cringeworthy though because I took that footage like almost four years ago. It'll be four years at the end of this year. So and there it goes. All right, let's get on with this video. Well, there it is. There it is, the Carnival Miracle. And I'm actually on the Port Pavilion. I'm on the front here. A little bit of construction work, but there's not much activity going on right now. If I haven't already entered this vlog, welcome back to my channel. This is week number four. about cruise ships coming into San Diego, but I think this is the fourth one that I have seen. So, big plus for that. This is the first Carnival cruise ship that has docked here since 2012, and Miracle's a Spirit class. And actually, Carnival Spirit was the last to dock here. And after it left, it um, basically went over to Australia. one of the last times that I have to see this because on February 1st it's leaving for a Panama Canal voyage. Actually for the longest time uh, Carnival Elation used to dock over here as well and it was the only cruise ship that's actually sailed all year round. There is actually a variation uh, of the spirit class that is used on uh, Costa cruises. But instead of the carnival funnel, it has a, just a standard orange one like the rest of the Costa cruises. And this one to Panama. We zoom in on the end.
that for you. And on the day I'm filming this, it was departing for a cruise to Hawaii. It's a Trans-Pacific voyage and it's going to take a lot of time to get there, so that's that for you. And with that, um, we'll go ahead and walk on back. I know Alright, this is just the walk down um, the port pavilion. Looks like they're prepping for some sort of event. It's called the It's called the Port Pavilion for a reason because if there's no cruise ship docked at this pier, then the at least the main concourse of this area can actually be used for events. That's actually one of the security screeners. I believe it's used to carry out all the customs procedures. There's a big ramp up there that actually goes up to the gangway. There's also an escalator over here. And a bunch of portable walls. See this is actually the secondary area for customs that we just passed by. And then, over here, this is where all the onward transportation would park. And, you know, when, when a cruise ship is stocked here, these gates would actually close, but... Other than that, they do allow people to go onto the end of the pier, especially catch a sunset. So... That's only when there's not much activity going on. For instance, they like today. So, just like that, we're back where we started. Whoa, what was that? There's a vending machine here. Alright, let's... So here is the... Um, this is actually the and main entrance and they have various other things too they got everything ticketing security uh pre boarding security that's the, those doors usually you see the only reason these gates are actually locked at all times is because the gangway is there you can kind of see it but here's one last look at the miracle and I'm going to go ahead and begin walking towards Starbucks. And I'm going to be mentioning Starbucks in a bunch of more vlogs from this point forward. But we're going to roll the term of the week here in a couple minutes. But uh, when we get to the end of the vlog. But yeah. Back to what I was saying. Um, um, so... Before anyone starts asking, like, what your favorite Star what's my favorite Starbucks drink is, um, let me tell you. Um, my favorite and uh, is the Strawberry Acai Refresher. Um, that was introduced in 2016. At least where I am, it was introduced in 2016. Um, and just this last spring, they introduced a variation dubbed Pinkity Drinkity, or Pink Drink. And basically, instead of water, they use coconut milk. Um, 1,000 likes on this video, and I will get a pinkity drinkity. So there you go. That is that. You know, that walk all the way up to the Broadway Pier was something I have always wanted to show in um, one of my vlogs, and I finally did it. Problem was, it was in January. I would love to come back in June when the very last cruise ship of the season prepares to depart. And hopefully, it docks over at the Broadway, uh, the B Street Pier on that day. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed. That's gonna be, that's totally true.
yeah, there's a lot of people on board already. Uh, oh wow, there's a bunch, there's a couple people on their balconies already. So, you're probably ready to escape this freezing, frigid weather. Like, it's about, I would say about 15-ish or so degrees over here. Like, by degrees, 15 centigrades. So it is a bit freezing out here. Alright. Alright, everybody. So... Here are some photos um, while I, I took after I came from, back from Starbucks. And I decided to zoom in on this next one so I could show you um, the interior lights on the bridge. You can kind of see them. Hi right, everybody, so um, that's actually one of the engines starting up. And actually I'm glad I stayed until like 3.30ish because I actually caught the um, cruise ship's uh, emergency alert system going off. So in the captions I will pretty much explain what each of the tones is in this particular sequence. And with that, um, stand by for um, a bit of an ear shattering noise but this is the activation of the cruise ship's uh, emergency alert system. I think this is it. There it is. One. Two. Four. And there you have it, that was the general emergency protocol right there. And that basically means listen for further instructions. Now that we did that, for real, for real, we're gonna go ahead and walk back to the car. And just like that, let's roll term of the week. All right, it is a few days later. Wow, can't believe all that just happened the other day. But anyways, uh, in case you guys have, are unaware, I did make a playlist on sound, on my SoundCloud for new music discovery. Link in the description. Um, the very first track is called The Party Never Ends. And, and I find an irony that all good things must come to an end eventually. But the one lyric that that is repeated in that track is surprisingly called Phantom. So... So because of that, the term of the week, this week a term is phantom. And there are four meanings to it. The first one is, well, a ghost. A second meaning is a figment of the imagination. The third is denoting a financial arrangement or transaction that has been invented for fraudulent purposes, but that does not really exist. And the last meaning is a motor coach that was produced from 1980-something all the way until 2008. There are only about a couple hundred remaining in existence. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And we will see you guys next week.